guys, we're back. Back to the uh, test world. Oh, not test world. Was that this is the actual world? So, farms expanded pretty good. I like the way it looks. We had some snow since last we recorded. I did some stuff offline to try to neaten this place up a bit, get some of the raw materials. Now that's. Let's not do this over here, Creeper. Their blast radius kind of expanded from last time from with the new updates. Whew. I need to work on getting this place more secure. Ah, but today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we're gonna explore some. So before we do that, there's a few things I want to get going. I want to get another compass, and I want to get a map so we can start filling in the map. And hopefully it'll be pretty interesting. If it gets too dull, if we get to some giant planes or something, you know, I'll do it off screen. But I want to do more with y'all. Feel I'm leaving y'all behind too much on a lot. This is a recipe for map. If people have forgotten really shouldn't be looking online to figure out maps, you know, just go on to the wiki. It's the best way. So, maps start uh, off wherever, you know, the center will be wherever you first read it, so, or where you craft it, so let's go ahead. Alright, snow. We know the desert's that way. Not entirely sure what's this way, so let's go find out. Also, you run a little faster on ice, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Still ridiculous amounts of sheep. Mainly I'm doing this, I'm trying to find cows. Wow, this is... Is this a frozen ocean or something? Hmm. Let's see. Ice plains, oh. I guess it's just plains that are underwater. Hmm. I was thinking about doing large biomes, but after seeing all this, I'm glad I didn't. Still sheep. Ooh, pigs, pigs, okay. So pigs are down. Oh, oh. It's so hard to see with the map. So pigs are down here. Alright, so we'll come by and get you pigs later. My god, more sheep. Alright, so pigs here. Run, 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 run. Okay. I don't plan to go too much out of one map, you know. I try to keep my worlds just in one map. You know, you can keep running. You can run for basically forever. There's actually more uh, surface in one of these Minecraft worlds than there is in the entire planet Earth. So, huh. That's a weird transition. But I don't have any cactuses back there, so might just grab a little. Just because you never know what kind of mob system you might want to make, you know. A little sand to make a little cactus farm. Well, folks, that was not a little good. Just things froze up just for a second, but I don't think we missed much. I guess it just tried to generate too many chunks at once. But it just seems to be beach or a uh, desert out here along the ocean. Big ocean tile. Probably see what's on the other side of that at some point. You can tell the ocean because it goes a lot deeper than any of just the swamps or, you know, natural lakes you see in the plains or anything. Oh, that's weird. What's this? Uh, F3, yes. This is a... I should, I should remember where it is. River. Ah, okay, so this thinks this is a river. Hmm. Alright, let's continue on our little track. 
I'm hoping to find one of the either jungle temples or one of the, uh, you know, desert pyramids. Hopefully we'll run across one of those. That would be sweet. And hopefully a village or something might get some, you know, gold, golden apples, iron, you know, heck ton of wheat you can get from those places. Oh, and those cactuses aren't breaking because I'm digging what's under them. It's not like reeds or something. They're breaking because I'm removing the conditions that, you know, they require. Because they have to be on sand. And for some reason, you know, the way it's programmed, it takes it very strictly. Hmm. Just kind of empty desert. Oh, heard mobs back there. Ooh, this looks like extreme hills. This would be good. Emeralds are, you know, the only place that emeralds spawn currently in the game are extreme hills. So, cool. No real villages, though. Yeah, this is extreme hills, right? Not mountains or something. Yeah, extreme hills edge. So, yeah, we're definitely going to come mining out here. Hopefully we can find, like, a oh, yes, cows. I've wanted cows so bad to get books and stuff. Okay. So this is where the cows are. We're definitely coming here to get cows. Cool. I'm coming back for you later, cows. I'll probably do that off screen. Me me shepherding cows around probably wouldn't be the most riveting video in the world. Oh wow, look at that. That's a crazy cliff. They really do need to add, like, super tall mountains and stuff. I think that would be really cool. You know, stuff where it stops, you know, grass stops growing and... Yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to have to be careful. Don't run off the edge here. Oh, this is where all the cows are in the game. Heck. Pumpkins. I already had those. That would be cool if, you know, didn't have a million billion pumpkins already. Oh. Jumping doesn't help, does it? Oh. Okay, so this is where the other mobs are. Chickens. Still need chickens. Oh, sheep. Oof. This reminds me a lot of old world Minecraft. You know, the, the way the old world generation used to be? Yeah, all crazy. I guess I can do a two-part of this. I just feel I haven't done a, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of clip stuff for, for the last two videos, and I wanted to get something where we had, you know, more time together. It was more realistic. You know, I don't think y'all wanted to sit there and watch me plant a thousand, you know, uh, things, but run around exploring a map is cool. Get ideas. Spend some time together. Quality time. I've been watching some ultra hardcore stuff recently on the other YouTube channels. Have you also, if you haven't seen that, it's a good thing to check out. So basically, you know, normal Minecraft, pretty much pretty easy, right? Because your health regenerates. Well, in ultra hardcore, your health doesn't regenerate. The only way to get it back is potions, or um, yeah, yeah, potions or golden apples, and they've decided to be crueler to themselves, so they've modified the golden apple recipe and the potion recipe because they thought that was too easy. And then they started PvPing. Ooh, this is too high. Okay. Use a little water drop technique here. Give it a few seconds to get to the bottom. You don't want to beat the water to the bottom, and that's not very enjoyable. Man, that's a pretty weird cave. It's getting night soon, so might have to just hold out and you know bring y'all back when it c kicks back today. <laughs> 